His name Gene and Pantan. That nigga saying the last thing he did in that shit, I go 250 on that Bretland. But watch for caution. Welcome to Jamaica, the island of real bad man. Some real dog at you, throw some real gang bang. No run for the fair, the not the bitch. Step up! These are the moments when everybody gonna load it. We not instigate violence But we believe in the self-defense No matter what These are the moments When every gangsta gun loaded We not instigate violence But we believe in the self-defense Welcome to part 4 The finale of the Jamaican top 5 richest deadly scammers in the diaspora of Jamaica. If you miss the first three episodes where number five was Shelly and number two was Frank Mula and his compatriot Ganda Sosa. Their stories are currently on the platform. Number three was Damon Oakley and he just got a maximum of 16 year sentence in an American penal system. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, scammers. When will you learn? Delusional wealth? Don't last. Number four was Gina Pantan, who previously worked for the SSL company, and she's now on trial for robbing Hussein Bolt and several others out of millions of US dollars. Now, I told you number one would uh, make Gina Pantan, who many of you suggested she should be number one. I told you this next top scammer, rich scammer, would make uh, Gina Pantan's uh, scamming exploits pale in comparison. Number one on our list is uh, Bebe. Oh, he takes the cake. The man who holds the unprecedented crown of being at number one on our list. The man is said to be responsible for the introduction of lottery scamming in Jamaica, specifically to the Montagonians. This is his pick. Take a look at him. He was the one who got the links from the Nigerian scammers. Thinking Moutse, he stole more than, much more than what Hussein Bolt lost. Yo, the man had the lottery scamming game in a chokehold. Bebe lived lavishly in the Western geographics. He drove luxurious foreign cars, lived in a million dollar apartments. Not only apartments, but houses. He had lots of women, it was said. Lots of men, perhaps. Hmm? More like lots of men. <laughs> yes, men, because Bebe, it was said, had a lot of sugar in his tank. His sexual appetite was for his own gender. And even pilgrims on the Badlands, who professed to be some of the most ruthless, had their own secret agendas when it came to Bebe and taking what he giveth unto them. They are what we call in Jamaica, likesy boos and bend over bullishes. Yep, bad man, pan the front at the time, but when the nightly shadows darkened and Bebe Sen called them, oh, they went, scampered to him gladly for him to do what with them accordingly. Bebe intoxicated them with his ill-gotten wealth and indoctrinated them with his poisonous scamming gas, a poison which spread like a wildfire throughout the greedy grapevines of the gabalicious Girigari. Pilgrims have not only killed for him but also died for the mighty lead sheets. Wars are started over one sheet. Battles that still rages on up to this day because of Bebe's introduction of scamming into our society. Now, this uh, toxic germ virus has spread left from Montego Bay and spread all over the 14 parish. It's uncontrollable now. Bebe was a young politician. He injected his solid currencies into the political arena, even though some knew the conspicuous origins of his dirty mola. They chose, though, to turn a blind eye. Crooked cops endeared themselves to these scammers for paltry and sometimes lucrative payoffs, but pity they knew not that they were not only delaying the inevitable, but a monster was eventually released while the evil gin lurked in the shadows, watching his works manifested, saying, run fools and tell those who will what you will tell them. There's something vile and loose in their cities, something that feeds on greed and glutton. 
Pepe's demise came when he ventured into politics. There was a greedy need for his currencies, but not for the scum himself. And rumor had it that he, Bebe, was getting too big for his britches. He was warned to back off. This is not the place for him to play. This is not his playground. He was warned on multiple occasions to back off. But with so much easy money at his disposal, Bebe felt invincible. He wanted more. He wanted power. And with absolute power. But sadly for Bebe, he misread the room and overstepped his boundaries. He did not realize that with all that money that made him a millionaire to the top brass in the political sovereignty, he was nothing more than a scaly, scaly scammer with a one little two cent a dry size up. Bebe was eventually pounced upon one day by a known assailant and his integuments riddled with hot skeletons. Clop, 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 clop. Bebe slumped over. He was dead, dead, dead. Now, to conclude my summation, let's revisit the Usain Bolt uh, scammer ordeal. Usain Bolt was scammed of tens of millions of dollars. Usain was the greatest sprinter of all times, whose great exploits internationally helped him garner millions of dollars in prize incentives. He was scammed of 10 million or 12 million of his earnings by a group of scammers who possessed nothing named conscience nor empathy. I would describe them as inhumane savages not even a single crumb they left for the jamaican alien to retire on well in that account now some would argue that hussein is worth way more than that the reported uh, portion stolen what was that i say rubbish regardless of whatever hidden treasures he may have concealed elsewhere the simple fact is that his money is his money and not some abandoned token for some pestilence pesticide to just up and take that which was not theirs to take in the beginning or end with. I curse the day they exited from their mother's toxic womb. I hope the remaining days are woven with misery and heartaches and in time those involved in this wretched scheme be put to the sword and impaled on a spike and beheaded and their dead heads be placed on spikes for all to see like Vlad Dracul so it serves as a deterrent for future despondents who harbor similar intent. This mere fact that Hussein invested his millions back into the Jamaican economy augurs well for similar earners of international revenues and is indeed a good look going forward for our economy but now the ugly scars left behind the face of this ugly act left a lot to be desired and i'm sure many are second guessing any type of local investment it is said you can't join ssl with less than a hundred thousand us dollars they were also flogged in 2009 for similar fraudulent discrepancies which were neatly swept under the rug with their powerful might and now isn't it ironic how the mighty has fallen similar to how another distribution giant by the name of Zojak Worldwide Distribution who are said to be stealing blatantly from their clients, artists and producers alike and I'm sure they will eventually meet the gallows of justice sooner than later. Remember who warned them first. Remember you heard it first. I am warning them. Look out for several videos highlighting their crooked endeavors coming soon on this channel. Artists and producers who do business with this crook, you have been warned. And to be warned is to be forearmed. The Goro has spoken. We've come to the end. The finale of the top five deadliest scammers, wealthiest scammers in Jamaica. I hope you thoroughly enjoy this series. If you watch till the end, bravo. I appreciate it. It really helps the channel a whole lot. Thanks and God bless. And do remember, please, what does it take to really leave a comment to help? You know, I put in the bulk of the work. All I ask. You just leave a like and a comment to help the channel if you're not getting any notification please unsubscribe and resubscribe if you want the book the audiobook written and narrated by me guru god 50 dollars per copy just email me and you'll get both volumes on discount okay well good remember my american green card check it out i did it for you guys better people link me love the feedback so many people are going through so much dark trial and tribulation but i did this to encourage you stand up if you're not dead nobody can dash your after you're not dead nobody can call you dopey stand up strong stand up if you don't stand up for something you will fall for anything all right what well, good state of trouble but if you choose to go up with another knife then there's a chance you might end up into island stories what well you choose uh 
Sometimes the road tough side slow. <laughs> Real patriots never buck, never fall. Oh, yeah. How they get around? That's why. Buck from the boy, who no do that. Who? Who uh-huh. no can kill with child? Who no go? Who from your soul don't know a wrong go? Yeah, hey. I'm a tag. And a man bust a shot him off a pack up and go. Mind it on him head back and go. Pop off him strap on him friend him for do. None of that time. Uh-huh. No assumption, as of the ground rock yeah? Power, married to corruption Criminal, bread from limited options Ten generation, I see the set song One one head man will live long Name one, things will ever be ruined not done Name one, one good and his politician Name one, and get a youth resilient That's what, back from the boy who no do that Fool, who no can tell with joy Who no fool, who from your soul don't know what wrong boy yeah. Yo, yo a man better go And a man bust a shot him off a back up and go Bind it on him head back and go Pop off him strap and him friend him for do None of that yo a man better Things risky, for the misfit Death rate fit the logistic Whiskers, ha, I want the biscuit Be huh? it of crackers with a whiskey uh-huh. hmm. You're not listening Crime live here so it's not visiting Visitors careful, they know what the business is Murder, plunder, pillage in who? Bloodshed in all the villages You name it, you will live in it Get rich, I do a special delivery Nightmare, in time into the images Vengeance, bloody cycle continuing But no you seek that, but it's no revenge Looking at the mirror, there is no difference Man we full of, hey, how we know we trends Buck from the boy, how we not do that? Who uh, no can't tell with ya, who no fool Who from your so we don't know how around fool Yup, now I'm on the top When a man bust no shot him off a back up and fool Mind it on him head back and fool Pop off him strap on him friend him for do None of that yo I'm on the top No assumption, I saw the ground run Power, married to corruption Criminal, red from limited options Ten generation, passing the set song One one head man will live long we must fall up with the only one. One and this politician, only one who can get a youth resilient. Fuck from the boy, we no do that. Fool, can't kill with jaw on the back. Fool, who from your soul don't know what wrong go? Eh, yo, yo, a man better go. Any man does not shut him off a back up and go. Bite it on him head back and go. Pop off him strap on him friend. Do it, eh. No, 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 Yo, you know the thing going to suck a seat up a beat, you know? Come yeah, on, take your turn, man. Come on, come on, man. Come on, 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 come on,